Hello and welcome to this first course. Today we'll speak about JS data type and formats. The topics we are going to deal with are the main JS concepts, raster and vector representation, and as well the most common JS file formats. Well, first of all, let's speak what is a JS. A JS can be defined as a set of hardware, software, data, methods and people, and all of them has to manage, analyze and display everything that has a geographic reference. And if you speak about it, if you think, each entity of land has special information. Let's speak about environment, health, transport, and JS allows us to visualize, understand, discover all the special relationship between geodata, informants, maps, charts, reports, and much more. So, as we have said, JS is not only the software or the hardware, it's as well a set of data, people, and standards working together to create a JS. And uh, what can be done with the JS? We can map almost everything, let's say the position of things, the quantities, how density is something, what happens inside a specific area, so let's say about multi-temporal analysis, what is nearby, let's say what is the villages close to a river, to a road, and how change the phenomena during the time. So a JS integrates geographic information, and not only, in an only decision supporting system that represents real world through data structures and layers, organizes data for fast and effective analysis, and provides tools for planning and management. We can analyze problems with water, roads, coastline, urban areas, vegetation, and cadaster to solve problems like fire monitoring, pollution, forest management, agriculture, tourism, and health. And AJS works collecting data from different sources, store in a proper way, query them and analyze, and final to show and produce final reports, maps, and WebJS. Let's see how we can represent geographic data. We can represent with different special data models, that means that are alphabetic information linked to a specific location. So alphabetic information in display is displayed on screen and they are related to the location of features in the real world. This is called data model. We have basic two main data models, vector and raster model. And all the spatial information is displayed in JS using special layers. And a layer could be based on a raster on vector data model. So let's speak about the vector data model that is based on geometry type of point, polyline, and polygon, and associated to each geographic information, to each graphic information, there is a table storing alphanumerical information related with each of the geographic object. So each row of the table corresponds to one single spatial object. You see that as vector data model, we can represent everything in the world, a field, a river, a road, some trees, and each of them can be represented as polygon, line, or points. And how we can store and query the information? We have in the original databases and can be queried to different languages, such as SQL, that in GVSIG can be queried through a user-friendly graphic interface. By the way, Russell data model is based on grid of cells called pixel that make a representation of the real world and a raster image stores numeric values for each pixel. So raster data model can be used mainly to represent continued features such as elevation, temperature or satellite images. What we have to know on raster data model? The origin xy is top left the grid extent, I mean how many rows and columns are in the raster, <coughs> and the grid resolution, the cell size, as well the georeferencing information. 
As I told you before, in the Rust model, there is one digital number information, and in such a, an image, let's say digital elevation model, the digital number represents the elevation, for example. Here is a summary how we can represent the same feature in a raster or vector format. You see in the on the left raster data houses are just one pixel. On the contrary, vector data are point and so on. So if we can resume, vector data are used to represent discrete data such as trees, wells, roads, railways, and lakes, while raster data are used to represent continuous data, such as solubility, precipitations, elevation, and slope. Last topic is about the most common JS file formats. Uh, if we deal with vector formats, uh, the most common one is the shape file, is one set of files containing at least three files uh, and stored in directories. We have .shp, shape file that stores vector information, DBF that stores attributes, and SHX that stores spatial index. We can have more vector formats with different extensions, that, but they have to be named in the same way and stored in the same folder of the three previously mentioned files. Raster formats are data obtained by scanner or remote sensors and mainly are TIFF, JPEG, or JOTIFF, or GRAT, GRAS, or as well GRID format that is, belongs mainly to ESRI. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first video on JS data typing formats and I'm looking forward to meet you in next the spatial reference systems. Keep in touch.